So we're going to begin in northern Gaza, where an Israeli airstrike has targeted a UN-run school housing forcibly displaced Palestinians in the Jabalia refugee camp. Israel says it's investigating whether the leader of Hamas, Yahya Sinwar, has been killed. At least 28 people are known to have been killed in the attack, including women and children. Dozens of others are injured and being rushed to nearby hospitals. Northern Gaza, including the Jabalia camp, has been under Israeli siege for 13 days. We've got a team of correspondents covering the latest developments across Gaza. In a moment, we're going to hear from Ibrahim al-Khalili in Jabalia. Tariq al Bawazoum is in Deir al-Bala in central Gaza forest. We're going to begin with this report from Moat al who's at the Kamal Adwan Hospital in Beit Lakia, where victims of this latest strike are being taken. The Israeli army bombed Abu Hussein, a school in the center of Jabal refugee camp, and the vast majority of the casualties and injured people are just children and kids, as you can clearly see in the picture. All of them, all of them are children, as you can clearly see. Now, ambulances are arriving to Kamal Adwan Hospital and are losing parts. The Israeli army hit a school which is full of displaced Palestinians here in the center of Jabal Yarifuji camp. Allow me to stop away to give you a better view. Let's go. Let's go inside to show you. Allow me to go inside the emergency department to show you how it's looked like after this massacre in Jabal refugee camp. Hundreds of Palestinians just got injured. Allah! Yes, yes, Allah! 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 We're going to go to Tariq Abou Zoom and Dera Bala in central Gaza. Tariq, let's talk about the strike first of all. What do we know about it? Well, Rock, there is no sort of respite on the ground in terms of the Israeli ongoing attacks, especially in the north and the central areas of Gaza, which had been the main two areas that the Israeli military, since the early hours of this morning, has been focusing on. We are talking about one of the major attacks on the north of the Strip was conducted on one of the main new and run shelters in Jabalia refugee camp. At least, according to Gaza's government media office, 28 Palestinians have been confirmed killed, while 160 others were wounded. And this is not, by the way, the first attack on evacuation centers. We have been observing and recording a tremendous numbers of attacks on UN-run shelters alongside with shelters that run by Gaza's Ministry of Education. As far as we know, also, that the numbers of UN-run facilities that were targeted since the war began back in October 2023 has risen to more than 190 UN facilities that were hit or damaged without any sort of warning. These areas are housing thousands of Palestinian families who were forcibly displaced from the houses after being destroyed by the Israeli military during the military incursions for the northern part of Gaza and also in the central and southern part of the Strip. In particular, uh, there has been also more airstrikes. We have observed just in the right corner from where we are right now in a Nuzairat refugee camp where a residential building was hit there alongside with another residential house that was backed full with civilians in Al Magazi, where nine Palestinians have arrived to Al Aqsa Hospital as a dead body. Uh, we saw the bodies were torn to pieces, and that's a clear reminder about the initial months of the Israeli military campaign on this trip that the momentum is surging and escalating on the ground with no respite so far. Um, Tariq, we're getting these Israeli reports that Hamas leader Yahya Simwa may have been killed. They are as yet unconfirmed, and I understand the Israeli military is checking that possibility but says the identity cannot be uh, confirmed. Uh, just tell us what more, if anything, that you're hearing on the ground. 
Well, I can see right now a photo. It's uh, it's claiming that it's for the top Hamas leader, Yahya Sinwa. Uh, these reports were published only in the Israeli media, not from an official source yet. The Israeli military says they are verifying the possibility of eliminating Yahya Sinwa, but till now, no, the military wing of Hamas, neither the uh, political branch of the movement had confirmed that elimination or the assassination of Yahya Sinwa. We need to remind our viewers that Yahya Sinwa is one of the top leaders who has been uh, put wanted on the list of uh, uh, Palestinians who are uh, on the list of elimination for the Israeli military and as well has been looking for the elimination of Yahya Sinwa since the war began back in October because they believe that he one of the people who masterminded the October the 7th attack and at the same time Yahya Sinwa has been previously uh, jailed in the Israeli prison and he was released in 2011 in Galat Shalit's uh, prisoner exchange deal that had been held between the Israeli military and Hamas movement. Yet it's not also clear where, where he has been eliminated as the Israeli military claim, but till now there is no any official confirmation about the success of his elimination so far, or even that this photo could be a, an AI generated photo or a photo for Ahiyah Sanwa himself. Tariq Abuzum talking to us from Deir al Tariq, thank you very much indeed.